The SDLC validation phase is where an independent QA team tests the engineering software to ensure it is high quality and satisfies the requirements. This involves a close partnership between the software developers and the test engineers. They must work together to find and fix the defects so a robust software product can be deployed to the customer. The validation phase begins when the engineering software is delivered to the QA test engineers as a complete working application. The delivered application is tested in an isolated environment where all variables which could influence the test can be controlled. Development does not have access to the test environment, so the only way to get code installed on it is to formally deliver it to the QA team. QA testing is performed on the entire application, interacting with it as the end user will once it reaches production. QA testers will run several different types of test cases. The majority of test cases will ensure the software satisfies the functional and system requirements. Functional test cases demonstrate the features and behavior of the system. System requirements measure system aspects, such as the application's performance, scalability, security, or reliability. Compatibility test cases may be needed to ensure the application interacts correctly with existing systems or will run on all supported versions of an operating system. Each test case should trace back to one or more requirements, and all requirements should be covered by at least one test case. The software is often delivered with an installation application, so the first test case is that the software installs correctly and the application can be started. Once the application is running, the test engineers can begin to execute the test cases. Executing a test case is a rigid process, where the environment must first be set in a known state, detailed in the test case. This could include loading test data onto the database from backups, or ensuring multiple external systems are running and ready to communicate with the application. Then the test case steps are executed, in the order defined. Each step will include some action from the tester with defined inputs. The expected outputs will be listed, which the tester will compare against the behavior of the application. If the behavior matches the expected result, the test passes. Otherwise, the test fails, and a defect is recorded for the development team to remedy. The development team will modify the software to fix the defects as they are received. When enough bugs have been fixed to warrant a new version of the software, a new baseline is established and used to build a new revision which is delivered to the QA team. Once the new software is installed, the testers must do a round of regression testing, rerunning all previous tests to ensure the modifications did not break working code. When a previously recorded defect no longer occurs in the new revision of the code, the QA team closes the defect. At any time, the number of open defects is a metric that indicates the stability of the application and how well it satisfies the requirements. When the number of open defects reaches a threshold indicating the software is ready for production, the QA team conducts user acceptance testing with the customer. If the customer agrees the software satisfies the requirements, they sign off on the project and the software can move to deployment. QA records its finding from validation in an artifact called the Test Analysis Report. Each test case executed will be documented in the report, with a description of the system's capabilities tested, an analysis of the system's behavior, and the test results, either pass or fail. The Test Analysis Report also presents the defects which are still open, to show where the software is deficient along with a description of the overall effects of the open defects on the readiness of the software for production. Any differences between the test environment and the final production environment will be documented, and the conclusion will give the QA team's assessment of the state of the software and a recommendation on whether or not to move forward. The other artifact produced in the validation phase is the validated software, which is ready for production. The process of transforming engineering software into production software is cyclic. 
As QA finds bugs in the delivered software during testing, it records them in the defect tracking system. The development team must fix the open bugs and create a new build of the software, which is delivered to QA for another round of testing. Several rounds of testing may overlap with development, allowing QA to test the software as it is being written. When a new revision of the code is delivered, regression testing happens to ensure working features were not broken in the updated software. This cycle is then repeated until a stable application is produced, which is ready for user acceptance testing with the customer. When the customer signs off on the validated software, it is ready to go to deployment.